of Winners Finals S1 versus Super Sammy, the 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 man at the top versus the rising star. Great storyline, and can, here can we, we still go. call him rising? I mean, he's well established by now. I mean, he is well established, but he's still rising. Oh, oh, he, he, he ain't <laughs> stopping. He ain't stopping. He ain't stopping. I mean, the only way is to go to the top, and we're gonna see that this match when we're gonna see those Mario combos take him all the way off to the top. Even of on City. Ness, though. Even on Ness. I mean, it is Town of City, though. It is Town of City, but it's also Ness. So I guess that balances things out. <laughs> I mean, either way, oh. if Ness hits that up air. I guess we could consider Sammy a rising star afterwards. Uh, well, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's see the for when it actually happened. Okay, okay, yeah. So very uh, solid lead by S1 right yeah, now. Yeah, and Super Sammy likes his fireballs, but he instantly got told that he can't do that by S1 putting up the PSI magnet uh, earlier this yeah, game. Yeah, that heal in singles is just very, very impactful. At least in the mind of your opponent. I mean, I think it's impactful just the existence of a heal, you know? A as a charge shot like user, I am more... Oh, oh hello? Okay. okay, so that's actually not possible in this. <laughs> um, but it still worked because he didn't he didn't get out of there. It just filled the fast fall. It's not possible in this because Ness can avoid the tech situation, but he didn't. Okay, I mean, I guess. I think Ness uh, falls too slowly, but I guess Super Sammy yeah, would he, be... He falls slowly enough that he can do something before he hits the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, as one did it. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, that's that's fair enough. Maybe, so maybe, maybe it does work. I mean, Super Sammy did go for it. Um, I do know that you have to read your opponent's DI against a lot of characters to make it work. You sure do. And this is Super Sammy with some momentum right now, with some control. And yeah, but he, he doesn't even have as one kill percent yet, so... Yeah, <laughs> to what a bill. Yeah, right? you need to stay in control for a good couple of minutes if you want to do something about that. And obviously, as one is <gasps> just going to let that happen. We pull it out the bats. Oh, oh <laughs> and the yo yo half charge and semi. That's the call of the void, shaky. man. Yeah, that's, that's a, a call of the void. Oh. You know you don't want to do that, but you do it anyway. I actually think this matchup. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Mario won, but I think Ness has a lot of good tools. Like, his neutral yeah. air, usually neutral air is kind of like, it has a low range, it but it is strong. It's definitely one of the better for this. Oh yeah, for sure. But like, against Mario, that Nair just kind of dominates the airspace. It's not much Mario can do about it. And even if Mario trades, Ness takes those. Ness loves Oh yeah, he wants those. He wants those. Okay, so game two, Super Sammy counterpicking to Battlefield, most likely for the combos and to avoid dying early deaths to up air. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna happen here. It's like the polar opposite of, uh, of Final Destination. Uh, no, not Final Destination, what Town do you call it? City, Town of which City, was the first, uh, first matches. Exactly. Stage. So. Narrow stage, wide stage. Huge blossoms, small blossoms. Yep, so I think Super Sammy is just trying to mix it up as much as possible, which, I mean, seeing how last game went is understandable, and right now he's showing that was not a bad decision at all. Ah, look at him go. Look at him go. There goes the up smash. Oh. <laughs> the down air. Forward smash, that is going to be the best punish you're going to get. Yeah, that's a uh, great presence of mind there by Sammy, even though I sort of expected the cape, honestly, because he has done that before, and oh, Ooh. S1, he is... He is just shooting. Channeling his inner foe, going for this upbeat, trying to keep it up the game. However, it's not going to work out. And Ness with the deficit is uh, probably the worst Ness you can uh, you can play, you know? Yeah, that really want to be ahead. That's not easy. And we can see it right now when he's, he's throwing all these back airs. But if he just holds shield, you're going to be fine. So S1, very much trying to close out the stock and even it up and it is it's going pretty well there's not a lot of extra credit right now for super sammy that's 21 yeah. percent of course he got him doable. exactly where as uh, ness wants him you got to use all those pk thunders to get a whole lot of extra damage for free basically no risk yep a little bit of reward more a little bit of reward and there goes the up air and mario has up smash on the ground ness has that same up smash in the air it is absolutely crazy and it's doing so much work. Does his head become intangible as well? No, it, it, it doesn't, but I mean, the hitbox <laughs> is that, just that'd as be much. something. I mean, it's still disjointed, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's, it's fairly disjointed. Okay, and that, that's just like actually the blind spot coming coming in there, and Super Sammy using the opportunity to get a little bit of momentum going, but it is still pretty even. S1 has something to say about this game. And you see him trying to go for the neutral air setup, but Ness is just too floaty to make something like that work. It must be weird to play Mario without 
you know, relying on his combos because the character kind of relies on his combos. I, right? I think for Skipper and Sammy, this would feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you, Sammy, you know you want to do all these things, you know you should be able to get all these things, but you're playing Ness. I you're think Sammy, Ness. Sammy's actually very neutral base for, for a Mario player. I am yeah, a, sure. Oh, 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 but the tech. Okay, okay, so that's actually <laughs> a very easy tech. However, in tournament, with the nerves on you, it's impossible. Um, but Sammy did it, however. I guess uh, Fossil back air next time because the forward air is just a little bit too slow. I mean, he went for the back air there, right? Down no, throw he went back for air. The, yeah, for but uh, S1 just di'd up, fell in him with the up air, and. Oh, I, I mean when they were off stage. Oh, when they were off stage, right, yeah. right, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. I think, um, like, that up B, even it, it, it was sacked, but that percentage that was added actually, like, decided the outcome of the game there. Yeah. Uh, if he didn't have that percent tacked on from that up B, it would have gone very differently, and right now Super Sammy probably agrees, goes back to Battlefield because something was going right after that first yeah. talk. But after that first talk, S1 took over that game. Well, let's see if he can uh, can make it work here in Game 3, as we're already two games in. These are some fast games. Oh yeah. I mean, these are two characters without great projectiles, two characters with grab combos, oh, two characters with great walling aerials. Um, they're two very active players. Yep. I don't necessarily want to call them aggressive in terms of style, but they're they're very active. Oh yeah, Super Sammy is constantly looking for that opening in neutral. He's very bait and punch heavy. Meanwhile, S1 very much reliant on his movement. And as uh, we can see, him just darting yeah. all around these like, platforms. I'm telling you, man, I'd never go to Battlefield versus this. Well, I would, but that's because I'm Samus, and Samus and Battlefield are just a match made in heaven. I get that, but it's still that. That movement. <laughs> I know. But but Sabus. <laughs> anyway, S1 with the early lead, quite a different look compared to last game. Oh, and, uh, Sam Sammy just doesn't know what to do to get off this ledge, man. He waits and S1 will come to him. If he rolls on, S1 is just always ready to react. If you go high, the PK Thunder will come and find you. I mean I guess this is one of those situations. Oh! Oh! This is one of those situations where you whip out your bat. <laughs> Shooting Sar out of there. Oh, now I want to see the shooting star play. meme of that just that moment. Uh, the same thing that Void had at the Civil War, you know, that song going on in oh, the space trip. Right, yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. shooting stars. Fucking love that shit, dude. Anyway, uh, S1, well, getting home good run damage. right there, and already working on that second stock. Labs him in percents. A lot of extra credit if you can even call it that. I mean, earlier he got a uh, PK fire on an airborne super semi. That is the worst way to get hit by PK fire. Oh yeah. Oh, and the trade. Okay, but it's not enough because Battlefield. That's kind of kind of depressing for Super Sammy. Oh, but yeah. What I was saying is like when Super Sammy gets cornered, he has a tendency to stay patient. He doesn't really panic. However, the fact that he stays patient is in itself predictable. Yeah, because um, you know you get time. He's not yeah. gonna get at you with the quick option. Exactly. And um, well, I mean, sometimes he gets at you with a quick option, but like. It's never the crazy option. Yeah. And covering the quick option is doable. Covering the crazy option and the patience is a lot harder. So, S1, very, uh, that, very clear. That was a quick, quick winners finals. 